you've probably seen this in your life, and that is you are getting intellectually lazy, and so am I. We all are because of the availability of smartphones and computers in our everyday life. There's a problem with this. Harvard did a very interesting study on cognitive offloading. That is, when people were faced with a problem, their first alternative was to go to their smartphone to look for, how do I solve this? If they didn't have access to a computer or a smartphone, then they said, when I do have access, this is how I will do it rather than going to their own minds to say, how will I solve this problem? Now, some people say this is okay, and I think it is okay if you're looking for data. If I wanna know information only, then the smartphone and Google are the most wonderful things that have ever happened to us. But on the other hand, if we get cognitive lazy and are unable to sort out problem solving on our own and always rely on going to the computer to try to figure out how do I solve problems, then we're limited to what that can give us. Some companies in the Silicon Valley are actually very worried about this, and they're putting a discipline in people, and that is when you're trying to solve a problem, you're looking for how do I solve the problem, you have to spend at least 10 minutes or 15 minutes or something trying to do it yourself before you turn to the resources that say, how do you solve this kind of problem? Another way to do it that I found helps me is before I turn to how do I solve a problem from looking it up on Google, I try just pencil and paper because I'm a visual thinker and that helps me sort out and recall ways to solve problems. The brain is a muscle. It needs to be exercised like a muscle. You don't need to exercise recall of data because technology gives that to us. But we do need to exercise the ability to think through complex problems so that we are able to come up with new and different solutions and better solutions. Uh, there's another way to discipline ourselves to do this. It's called the Feynman Technique. If I'm faced with a problem, how would I describe the problem and potential solutions to a school gets me down to the basics of the problem to be better at defining the problem because I have to do it very clearly and also the potential solutions become more evident. Engineers at Amazon, at NASA, at Blue Origin all use this technique. It will also simplify your thinking and make the complexity into more simple solutions. Another thing that will happen if you use the Feynman technique is when you go to describe your idea or your proposal or your solution to other people, you'll be better at explaining and picturing it in their minds and you'll have a higher probability of success. So use that muscle in your head and don't let it go into atrophied.